think Yes. But overall, what seemingly seems to be maybe um, things that were overlooked uh, by, you know, in the statements or in the evidence, like in September, some of the testimony you know, that was given by Colonel Swatboy and another SAPS member mm. who's part of the forensic team. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your reaction to that? You know, uh, what happened here is an act of racism. So when Afri Forum picked up an opportunity, uh, to persecute me. They made sure the matter is in a white prosecutor. The prosecutor was white. When they could not pass through with the white prosecutor, then they went to a colored, but maintained a white magistrate. Because if you get any minorities on his case, there is no way they are going to leave him alone. They will pursue him. And that's what transpired. The investigating officer, officer Swarboy, Kalat, a governor, Indian. There were so many minorities on my case with the hope that these minorities will pin him down, inspired purely by hatred and racism. That's why I said to the magistrate, they thought if they get a white judge, because they were judge Hopi, they will find a racist judge who will not have mercy. Uh, uh, for this guy. So the whole thing just failed. Why would an honest prosecutor not tell the magistrate that there were five police officers who were looking after this guy on that day? Five of them. They go and collect statements from them, keep them secret, and not bring them to the attention of the magistrate. When in cross-examination, defense brings them to the attention of the magistrate, and 174 application, the magistrate said, no, this issue of subs being there, uh, I don't have much to say about it, except that maybe the state at some point will have something to say. She got shocked by cross-examination that subs was there. They bring subs statements today. I don't know why they did that. They bring I mean, subs statements. They don't bring subs uh, officers. And then they read the statement themselves into the record. No single statement of the police say this guy did anything unlawful. So what was the point of bringing those statements here when they are not implicating us? So all of that combined, you can see that uh, it's, a, it's a concocted charges uh, which are inspired by hatred and racism and uh, the inability to defeat a person politically. And then you use the other means, including persecution. It's unfortunate the NPA allowed itself to be used uh, in this regard. Are you happy with the conduct of the magistrate this time around because the last time you laid there has been confident? I'm not. I'm not happy with the, uh, the magistrate, but there's nothing I can do. It's the court. You need to ask a question yourself as journalist. When ballistic experts of the police was brought before the same magistrate. The magistrate never asked the ballistic expert of the police whether he's got a signature of the peer review. When our ballistic expert was brought to the case, he was told he does not have a peer review signature. The magistrate asked the question, what must I take this evidence for in the absence of the peer review? Why didn't she ask that question to the ballistics of SAPS, which did not have the same uh, 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 peer review signature? So the same way she's going to view the SAPS ballistics report in the absence of uh, ballistics is the same way she must view ours. They all enjoy the same status. And I don't understand why police brought that, I mean prosecutor brought that to the attention of the magistrate to say, but you don't have a peer review signature. Where is the peer review signature? Our advocate was good enough to point it to them and through our ballistics. Did their nine ballistics report have a peer review signature? Two. No answer. They don't have signatures. This is the same magistrate. In a clever way, I told you today, I said the same court never asked the state 
ballistics, whether they've got peer review. But you can ask ours as whether he's got a ballistic, I mean, a peer review. And today I'm happy they call him an expert. Yesterday, had this not been exposed that they don't have a peer review signature, yesterday they wanted to disregard him and treat him as an entity who's not qualified expert because he does not have a peer review. Same magistrate.